Today we're going to do a quick review on the Netflix AC750 router. A quick review on what a wireless router does is basically you have your digital cable coming into your house uh, in the form of the Ethernet cable. It plugs into the back of your wireless router and what the router does is it gets that, um, that digital cable and transforms into a wireless signal that it sends throughout your house. Okay, From there you then can assess it uh, with any devices such as anything that will read a wireless signal such as a laptop or a, uh, a fire stick or anything like that. The reason why I'm doing this project today in my house is the router we've had um, we've been using for about four to five years and it's been a little glitchy. Um, for that reason I want to update it go with something new. This model right here I bought at my local Walmart for $29.99 and uh, I'll see what's inside. <clears throat> All right, it's a nice little cardboard box. Everything looks to be intact. And nothing else there. Got some instructions. And then the router itself. Looks like there's really no assembly required. You just open her up. Your antennas come out. If you look on the back, you have a place to, for your uh, Ethernet cable coming in and then your AC outlet. This actually comes with uh, the Ethernet cable you're going to use to go from your cable modem to this. And then the only other item in the box is this uh, AC adapter. And uh, that plugs right in here to the back. We are going to undo the cable on this uh, small Ethernet cord and plug it like so into the back. From there, we're gonna to go to uh, where the cable modem is in the house and make our next connection. So this is our existing setup. You see the cable modem coming into the house. It has a cable line coming in. It transfers it to an ethernet cable, which then goes out and goes into our old wireless router right here. Simply, we're gonna pull up our old Ethernet cable because we're going to replace it with the new one that came with the kit. We're going to go to the back of the router, unclip that. We're going to disconnect power from this. Our old router comes out despite a couple tangles. Then we're going to get our new router. I already plugged in the cable into the wall down here. We're going to plug it back into the same location on the back of our cable modem. And then we're going to get our AC adapter and plug it back in here so this has power. And there's a little green light. I don't know if you guys can see it that lit up. That confirms we have power. After making our connections, I just got my laptop. I went on and connected to this network. And as you can see, the network's uh, name is Netgear50. And uh, there's the temporary password that was set to everything. Once I set that on, it prompted me to start uh, to create a new password, which I did. And I am online now. One problem people run into if you have a Windows operating system is that if you're not updated, you need to update it. So if you have any issues, you're probably going to want to, you're going to have to update your system. Otherwise, the drivers won't be in sync. Um, that's the issue you'll run into with Windows. One cool thing that Netgear offers is there's a free app called Netgear Genie. And you go on there, you could remotely reset this if you need to. Um, you could, you know, you have your normal network, but you could also have a guest network set up that's open if you have visitors over at the house uh, or anything like that. It'll also let you monitor, uh, will let you uh, access the router over the internet uh, if you need to for any means to. It's a pretty cool app. Either way, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoy this video. And like always, please uh, feel free to like and subscribe. Have a great day.